Hello, this is Dr. Chris Burke at the University of Nebraska-Lincoln in the Department of Computer Science and Engineering. And today we're going to be talking about optimal binary search trees. So consider the following scenario. We're given n keys with a probability distribution. This probability distribution is capturing the likelihood that you're going to search for each one of these keys. P sub ki is the probability that you're searching for this key. For example, you could say that 50% of the time you're going to be searching for the key 1, 10% of the time for key 2, only 5% of the time for key 3. In other words, some keys are more likely to be searched than other keys. Our goal will be to design a binary search tree, so it's still going to have the binary search tree property, but if you have a key k, everything in the left subtree is less, and everything in the right subtree is greater. But instead of a balanced tree, our goal will be to minimize the average number of comparisons. To understand that, let's look at an example. Suppose that we have a very simple input with just three keys, A, B, and C. With a probability distribution, it looks like that. The interpretation here is that 60% of the time you're searching for key A, 30% of the time you're searching for B, only 10% of the time you're searching for C. Let's look at what this binary search tree would look like if it were a balanced binary search tree. It doesn't get any more balanced or shallow than that. However, when you go to search this binary search tree, to search for A would require one, two key comparisons. One key comparison at the root to realize that it's in the left subtree. One key comparison when you finally get there to see that it's equal, and that's the thing that you're looking for. So there are two comparisons. Likewise, there are two comparisons for C. But there's only one comparison for B because you get lucky at the root and you find what you're looking for. Summing up the weighted probabilities gives you an average number of key comparisons of 1.7. On average, to search for anything in this tree will require about 1.7 comparisons. Is that the best we can do? Let's look at another tree. Here I've skewed the tree completely to the left. Remember, it still has to satisfy that binary search tree property. Everything in C's left subtree has to be less than it. This changes the number of comparisons. Now there's only one comparison for C. There's two comparisons for B and three comparisons for A. Summing these up gives us 2.5 comparisons on average. That's even worse. But what if we skew it the other way? Now there's only one comparison for A, two comparisons for B, and three comparisons for C, giving us a much better average number of comparisons of 1.5. In fact, this is optimal. Now for only three keys, there are five potential binary search trees. If we were to do this brute force, we would have to go through them all. But in general, the number of binary search trees with n keys follows the Catalan numbers, a well-known combinatorial sequence, which can be expressed with a formula here. This is going to be exponential. So we can't hope to apply a brute force solution to this. Instead, we need to use dynamic programming. 
Now to understand our approach to this, let's consider five keys. Now if I want to put these in a binary search tree, one of these keys is going to have to be my root. If I choose A to be my root, then that means that the left subtree will have no keys, because remember these are ordered. And the right subtree will have all the keys B through E. That's one possibility. Another possibility is that I choose B to be my root, in which case A will be its left child, and the right subtree will contain C through E. You can imagine what all the other trees might look like. With the last one skewed completely to the left. Now we're going to consider all five of these possibilities, but we're also going to need to know what the optimal binary search tree is for each one of these subtrees in order to make our decision. Is it best to use A as the root, or B, or C, or D, or E? That suggests a nice recursion. In general, if you're given keys ki through kj, the question is, what's the best key to use as the root? Let's suppose that we've chosen k sub l. That means in the left subtree, it'll contain keys ki up to, but not including, kl. So key is ki through kl minus 1. And in the right subtree, it'll contain all the other keys that come after kl. Now if we can come up with a recurrence that captures these two, say the cost of the left subtree, plus the cost of the right tree. And we can consider the, the sum of these costs for each of our possible choices. Then we choose the minimum. In the next part, we'll go ahead and define that recurrence, as well as the base cases.